Today I'm installing an awning on the Prado 150. Go through uh, which awning I bought and I'll take you through the install briefly. So this is really I suppose a review of the awning I bought uh, and the installation of it. So I chose the Darchi awning. Uh, this is just a pull out awning. Uh, they call it the Darchi Eclipse Slimline awning I believe. This is the 2.5 by 2.5. I picked this up um, actually at a really good price from my friends at Snowys. So a big shout out to the team at Snowys for their best price match. So I'm really pleased to say that I got this. Uh, actually hit it for 340 here in Australia. Uh, that was a good saving off the full price because they price match somebody else. Uh, so thanks again Snowys. Uh, you've done it again for me. I've got a few of the uh, Darchi um, products. I have to say I think they're really good value for money um, you know they're not top of the range but they're really good good quality I've discovered uh, and I think good value for money anyway so today I'm going to take you through the Darchi 2.5 by 2.5 uh, we'll put it on and uh, let's see how we go so in the box um, you come with obviously the awning uh, and here's the bag so in the bag it comes with, it actually comes with uh, three, three fixing brackets, uh, a couple of pegs, a couple of uh, gyros, and a set of fixing nuts and bolts, quick set of uh, instructions, put out warning and a uh, warranty card. And uh, I know with Darchi you must make sure you do register your product uh, on their website for warranty. So make sure you do that if you buy a Darchi. Interestingly, it comes with three brackets, um, which is nice to see. So this is 2.5 meters long. So I've also bought myself uh, Rax Brax. Uh, I don't know if you're familiar with these Rax Brax, but what Rax Brax done is they made a product which enables you to take on and off your awning quick and easy. Um, for me, I have trouble getting in my garage, so I, I want to be able to take it off, and I don't, I don't actually need it on the car every day, so I want to be able to take it off. I got this online actually from Chaos Online in Australia. Thanks guys at Chaos. Um, again, arrived pretty quick. So uh, I'll show you this in a minute as well. And in addition to the Rax Brax kit, I also bought the additional Rax Brax uh, holders. And this is so that you can, once you've taken it off your vehicle, you can put it on the car. Um, uh, sorry, you can, once you've taken it off the car, you can actually put it on the garage wall or somewhere else and get it out of the way and stop it laying around on the floor. So I thought a couple of those extras because I've got enough crap in my garage at the moment. So uh, they go there. So interesting that it comes with a pair of racks bracks, and obviously I've got three angle brackets for fixing. So in the racks bracks kit, again it says some instructions, a couple of sets of uh, racks bracks. So these go, these go onto the uh, brackets, so uh, they fit in through there, and this fit comes out that's just a blanking plate so this basically goes on and we fix that on the car depending which way up you want to go depending how you want to fix it I'm going to be fixing it in the downwards hopefully because I need to keep it low on the side of my vehicle and as I've got a lift anyway on the vehicle I don't need it too high it'll be too high if I have it upwards so that'll enable me to keep it down that goes onto the vehicle nicely and then <coughs> this bracket goes onto the uh, awning and then the awning literally clips into here if I can get it in right and then uh, it just locks in place so one way around and it's in like that it has a retaining pin in the box uh, and all the fixings and I'll go through that with you in a minute so that Rax Brax comes with again a nice big set of nuts and bolts a pin that goes through here to hold it in and a couple of extra bits and pieces so this is lockable 
on the once it's on the vehicle so you can lock it in which is really cool uh, and you've also got some retaining cords here to stop you losing this pin when you take it out which is quite a nice idea so yeah it uh, it uh, hopefully will do the trick we'll give it a go now so first thing to do is to fit the racks bracks to the awning itself um, interestingly there are three three <clears throat> brackets that come with the awning but I've only got two racks bracks uh, however that said the racks bracks is rated at 20 kilos and it's written on the actual bracket 20 kilos per single unit so in theory then two racks bracks will hold a 40 kilo awning well this is only an 11 and a half kilo so I think I'll be all right using just the two and not need the third bracket uh, and also I'm not keeping this on the vehicle 24 7 so uh, you know it'll only be on periodically so I'll take uh, a racks bracks and we'll need to fix that into the track uh, lines up perfectly with this not a problem so it comes with um, the Darty awning comes with obviously all the right screws so we can put a couple of those in at the end And then that will go in there. I'm sure it's the right way up. There's a zip on the bottom. Yep, zips on the bottom, so that's good. Uh, interestingly, Darchi doesn't come with any washers. I guess if it was fitted directly to the to the bracket, you probably wouldn't need them. Um, however, obviously with a little bit of slack inside there, a little bit of a hole there. However, pleased to say that, uh, that the Rax Brax does come with washers. So we'll put a couple of washers in there. Before we put the, uh, there are nylocks, it comes with nylocks. We'll put the nylocks on in there as well. I we might even put a little bit of thread lock just to be 100% on those, because once these ones are fully in, they're not planning on going anywhere. Um, so we'll fit those two on here and uh, get them roughly in the right place and then look at the next bit so now the uh, racks brakes are fitted to the angle bracket for the awning that came with the Darchi awning uh, just fixing those to the um, roof rack the beauty of my basket cage is that uh, I can just clamp over the uh, over the mesh. Uh, made of myself a couple of brackets just to clamp it over. Uh, just doing the last one now. The other one's in place, as you can see. Fits quite nice and tight. So as you can see, if we look at the height, this is not adding really any height other than the height of the bracket and uh, the bolt head. So the both both um, brackets are on now with the Rax Brax. The only thing I would say if you if you go for the Rax Brax and so far you know the quality looks good is just watch out with the key you know if, if you get too close to the vehicle you could get an issue with that. I'm trying to keep mine obviously as close as I can so it doesn't stick out but certainly worth just checking your distances when you install that you can still get to the key thing uh, no problem there at all on that one. So they're both on now, so we'll have a go at uh, lining up, measuring off the brackets for the awning. So actually I haven't tightened up, in fact the, the screws on the awning bracket are actually completely loose at the moment. <laughs> Quick tip really, this bit. Uh, I left them really loose, they slide all the way around. Didn't even bother measuring it, just half lined them up, lifted it, because it's not very heavy. Lift it drop one bracket in, slide the other one in, drop it in. So what I'm going to do now is just mark mark the center of the bracket to the uh, center of the uh, awning and as you can actually see the big gap of the screw in there, it's still loose. Uh, mark that so when I take it off and it moves I can just tighten it down and make sure it's in the right place. Sod measuring it, quick, quick trick, hopefully that will work uh, and then we're done. Morning's up, so let's have a quick walk around and uh, take you through 
bits and pieces so this is as I said the 2.5 by 2.5 just pull out awning pretty basic and simple uh, pretty easy to put up even on your own not an issue um, so I quite like these uh, these rubber pieces actually hold the poles inside the track which is nice uh, 320 gram ripstop poly cotton material looks uh, pretty good um, I can't comment as to pooling at the moment I might look at a, an additional pole in the middle because you've already pulled it quite tight I know you dropped one corner anyway uh, right so at the front end here we've got uh, interestingly it's fitted to this front end through a sail track you can actually see that I can't uh, tell you can see the lights not very good uh, that might be better you can see it's actually fitted in a sail track and there is actually another sail track underneath the top one where the actual awning is fixed to so you could drop something inside there if you wanted to and then on the outside you've actually got two sail tracks so interestingly something you I didn't know about so two sail tracks there I have a Darchi uh, tent that will actually attach to the sail track and I'll show you that in another video when I get a chance to get it up and running but that's going to be very useful for me I like the dual sail tracks there and I actually do like the one on the inside I have to look at how I attach on that one so the tie down uh, rope is actually already affixed from the factory like that I've actually just bought myself a couple of uh, clips and uh, to put on the end of the ropes to make it much quicker to attach poles yeah good quality poles um, you just twist the lock again as I said they've all got this uh, orange rubber piece on them which is not for twisting it's actually for holding it in the uh, track when you close it back up it fits inside the track nicely it stops it rattling around actually really good twist and lock they've got a spike on the end so going into the ground again nice they've actually got a spike at the bottom so small things tension to detail so inside here you've got a little flap that's for when your tent is obviously on and you've got your sail track fitted there so that's all part of the tent fixing and as I said one day I'll show you my tent fix to the track here it's one of the reasons why I bought the Daichi so in terms of the pin going through from the cross piece it goes through both both pieces of aluminium so it adds a bit of extra strength but it's through both although it is only aluminium of course so tying it down is very important again plastic uh, knuckle I know these are replaceable if you need to be and then uh, coming across to the actual awning itself on the on the vehicle so very simple just two tracks uh, where the poles just slide in uh, there is actually another sail track on the underside of this it's really difficult to show I'll go at the other end in a minute and let you see but uh, there's not a lot of space in here I noticed when I unpacked it and tested it out before once this is all rolled up it's very slim very tight probably can't even get the bag of pegs in there and guy ropes we uh, probably best not to force it so there's not a lot of space as I said it will come to the end and actually if you look at the end of the awning there are two two uh, sail tracks again on it interestingly quite sure why you'd have two here but uh, I'm sure somebody will tell me uh, but interesting how they've really gone to town on some of the capabilities and I guess that's what you pay for when you you buy a more slightly more expensive awning you, you pay for the extra bells and whistles uh, this piece here is as I said before is about tying it off if you remove it the velcro straps here uh, just make sure you close them up once you've opened it and actually they're nice and firm you can push them up onto the vehicle and keep them out of the way so that they don't get stuck within the doors when uh, you open and close the door so that's really nice but all in all very good quality zips very impressed by that uh, very nice product uh, need to test it in anger but uh, anyway there you go thank you for watching